Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video on a, a new acquisition I have for the studio. This is a Kingdom cassette duplicator. This is uh, something I just picked up on uh, eBay and it is like in mint condition. I don't even think it's ever been really used. Uh, I had a good look inside and and there's literally like there's no main, you know, there was no uh, repair work done on this everything looks to be like in pristine condition and uh, I'm stoked to have this because I'm using it for a uh, cassette project um, for a, uh, a local compilation of electronic music that I'm putting together with um, the oscillate collective I'll put a link to this in the uh, in the description but uh, I've got everything ready to go here it's taken a while to actually um, understand a little bit about uh, mastering for tape and to get things sounding right. Uh, what I did was I did a, a mix to this cassette deck here for the master, um, recorded it onto a Maxell XL2 um, with uh, various different kinds of EQing and it took a lot of fiddling to try and get to a mix that was sounding really good on cassette, but I managed to get there for the most part. I think I'm very happy with it. Um, so what we've got here is, um, here's the master. It's a 60 minute um, album. Uh, I've got it on a 90 minute cassette, but that's okay. These are all 60 minute. And what this is gonna do is record everything in, in um, rapidly. I believe it's like four times the normal speed. Uh, it's a one-touch copy and it'll record in stereo on both sides of the cassette at the same time and so I've got everything uh, ready to go here and I'm just gonna switch it on and all I have to do is hit this button and it'll start going so it is very fast I think it takes maybe two or three minutes aside. Uh, we'll see how it goes here. We're two minutes into the video. So um, this album is a compilation of local live electronic artists. And there's a lot of different genres on it. It's, uh, you know, there's some minimal techno, there's house, there's different kinds of, uh, there's some glitch, a whole variety. And uh, we put together a, an organization here called the Oscillate Collective and uh, we do education promotion of events uh, try and really uh, promote live electronic music and we do uh, we do shows in town here uh, pretty much every month so if you're in Calgary uh, you can check us out at the Kawa Espresso Bar uh, we do a monthly show there and it's a lot of fun all right, so we've gotten uh, one minute into the duplication. Looks like we're about three quarters of the way through. And uh, you can set the uh, the levels on here. Um, the right channel is slightly quiet. There needs to be a bit of a calibration here. Um, and so that's just tweaked up a little bit to create a proper balance. Um, this has an auto rewind function, which currently is not working. Uh, not sure exactly what's going on there, but a uh, fairly simple operation. You've got stop, rewind, and one touch copy. So there it's finished, and we'll just hit rewind. I checked over all of the, the belts and the motor, uh, the motors for each of these uh, cassette decks and they're all brand new. The belts look like they'd never really had too much work on them. Uh, the motors are all, they look like they're, they're brand new. So I should get quite a bit of life out of this. And there we go, we're all done. So I'll turn that off. Put 
this in here. Um, now, hopefully YouTube doesn't uh, cause any problems with me posting this music because it is going to be released online as well and it's going to be uh, copy protected so um, it might flag this but we'll just have a listen. Let's see here. And that actually sounds really good. There's a little bit of ground noise there I've got to figure out, but that's um, not on the recording. Anyways, that's, uh, that's all I wanted to do with this video is just uh, show this uh, duplicator. And uh, if you find it, there is another one of these on eBay, but uh, it looks a little used or fairly well used and it's quite expensive. I didn't, um, I think it was going for 1300 Canadian, which is uh, quite high for this particular device I've found. So if you can find one uh, for under that um, and it's in good condition, I'd, I'd recommend, you know, if you're into cassette duplication, you're thinking of maybe th throwing together a small cassette label, this machine uh, will serve you quite well. It just takes a little bit of fiddling to get your, your mixed sound good through it. Okay, I'm just going to leave the video there and uh, I'll uh, talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching.